Hello everyone and welcome. Our footballing travels have taken us to the Midlands. We're at Villa Park. I'm Derek Ray, perched here on the commentary gantry and sitting alongside me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It's Aston Villa taking on Liverpool. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. An effective ball. Is it going to be? And a goal! Not bad for starters. They take an early. Well, let's take another look, and it's not good enough defensively. They're slow to react, don't get tight enough, and don't deal with the situation. And there's the outcome. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Look at Dinia. Ings. Chambers. Dinia. It'll go harmlessly through to the goalkeeper. And into the clutches of the goalkeeper. Salah. Matip. Lovely ball over the top. Well, it comes to nothing in the end. Offside. Well, he doesn't need to make his movement quite so quickly there. Just let the ball be played into the space. Luis Diaz. Here is Thiago. Diogo Jota. Fabinho. Robertson. Here's Thiago. Excellent assessment of the situation at the back. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Defenders need to cover. Buendia. And that pass could be troublesome. He got a good palm on it. It'll be a corner. <laughs> Trying to pick out a teammate. It didn't happen for them. Well, another corner hot on the heels of the last one. Trying to deliver it accurately. A decisive clearance it was. Well, technically offside, but not by a lot. Diogo Jota. Angled for Salah. Well, good hands there from the keeper. Well, they'll be happy to have regained possession. Diogo Jota. Every pass hitting its target. Well, possibilities in the centre. Mohamed Salah now. Must be. And a goal it is. They lead by two now. Fully deserved. Well, here's the replay. And what a well-delivered cross this is. Perfectly placed. And the finish is really well taken as he judges the flight of the ball, uses the right technique and then makes such good contact. That's a clever goal. Well, a second goal for them here. Look at Dinia. 
It's with Douglas Luiz. Tremendous ball played through. Just unable to take advantage of that developing situation. Well, as the stats confirm, Liverpool had the lion's share of the ball. They've passed it well, their movement's been good, and they've been well worth their lead. Could get even better here. Henderson. Salah. Working away patiently, looking for an opening. Splendid defending. McGinn a chance maybe from the wide position now he must favour the cross and pull back so typical of Jordan Henderson perfect read and the whistle is sounded for half time in this game Not to be too blunt about it, Stuart, but this has been a struggle for him up front. Well, as you can see, he just hasn't had enough touches in the key areas, and that's one of the reasons they're losing this game at the moment. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far, and now the second half is underway. Ings. McGinn. Ollie Watkins. Digne. Douglas Luiz. Ings. Happy to take on the shot. Well, straight at the goalkeeper then. Fabinho. Salah. Here is Thiago. Jota. And an astute piece of defending. He's lost it. Well, the owner of the silver hatchback with the racing space, GR. This attack looks highly promising. KK, please contact your nearest security guard. Thank Options you. in the middle. Determined defending. And Mohamed Salah now sends it back. Big chance. No way through. Double substitution for Aston Villa. Coming off the pitch, number six, Douglas Lewis. And number 16, Callum Chambers. To your place by number 23, Coutinho. So the corner played into the box. No trouble at all as far as the keeper was concerned. Coutinho. Look at Tinha. Over the touch line for a throw in. Substitution time as is here. Number 17, Curtis Jones. Oh, nice ball. And the cross is very much on. Coutinho. Teammates in the middle. It comes to absolutely nothing. Fabinho. And this is Diogo Jota now. Salah. Not a good pass. 20 minutes to go. A oh, terrific pass. And Salah always has the sizzle. His goal. Well, here it is again. And it's a superbly weighted through ball to break that defensive line. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. Well, back underway here, and Liverpool handing out a very harsh lesson. Matty Cash. 
McGinn. Holly Watkins. Is it going to be Danny Ings? It's gone in! And well, he might celebrate on the back of that. Well, here it is again, and you have to say the 1-2 completely opens up the defensive structure. And the finish is really good. Low and hard beyond the goalkeeper. It's a lovely goal all round. Underway again with the score at 3-1. Well, at first glance, you would think a strong possibility of a red card. Let's see. And who knows, that might be the end of the story for them in this one. Well, I'm sure you're right. He's just lost his discipline there. It's an uphill battle now. Coming off the pitch, number 14, John Anderson, to be replaced by number 7, James Milner. Milner. This is Salah. Well timed tackle. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Well, a badly timed run, just a fraction offside. Jones on the ball. Mane. Here's Milner. Salah. Superb block. And just five minutes remaining. An unforced error, you've got to say. Cash. Emiliano Buendia. McGinn. On and on he goes. Danny! He scored once already and close to making it a double. Well, every time he gets on the ball, he looks a real danger today. And over it comes. And thwarting his opponent in the nick of time. This is Jones. And that will be all for this game. The referee blowing the whistle and Aston Villa have to digest the taste of defeat. Well, Derek, they weren't at their best today, both as individuals and as a team. And they didn't deserve anything from the game. Need a much better display next time out. Well, it was a typically strong performance from Jordan Henderson. Interested to know what you made of his performance. Well, it's a good performance. He worked hard, played well and scored a goal. And his team won. What more could you ask for?